to muzzle a dog. What you want to do is make sure that you have a muzzle that is sized appropriately for your dog so that it is not unnecessarily uncomfortable. You want to keep in mind that you don't want to leave your dog muzzled unattended because muzzles can restrict a dog's ability to drink water and to pant. So this is called a basket muzzle. This keeps the dog from, from biting anybody, but it, it also enables them to pant, open up their muzzle and pant and to drink water, so this would be a good solution if your dog was going to wear this for any length of time. This would make it hard to groom a dog. So this muzzle is a little short for Joe. You can see his nose is, is ending up at the end. He's a very long muzzled dog, but otherwise the leather strap is meant to go up behind the neck and hold it into place. There's good protection for his muzzle with the leather strap there, but again, this is too short for his particular face. To apply it, you want to make sure to keep your hands in safe place so that your dog, if your dog is snapping or the dog is snapping, that they aren't going to bite you. Um, you can try by scooping the dog's mouth into the muzzle so that you're catching that lower jaw, especially if they're panting. You can also bring the muzzle around from behind so a dog is not as aware that you are about to muzzle them. It's not a bad idea to have the dog restrained in other ways when you apply a muzzle. 